Hey guys, what's up? It's me again, Tom from TTT Tom's Tech Time, welcoming you from, that's the German motto, no Wi-Fi. Today, it is payback time because it is Christmas time. Three quarters of the year we were outdoors and we were neglecting our families badly. So now it is time that we sit down and come up with some creative, cool drone gifts. And that's why I'm running through IKEA at the moment. Let's get this episode started. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to never again miss any of my upcoming episodes. Oh, how nice they took a portrait photograph of me. Didn't I look good that day? Let's get started with the most classic of all photo gifts. The book. The photo book to be precise. It sounds old fashioned, but it is not. Photo books have style. Take care though to choose a thick and not some cheap and thin paper, otherwise your photos might not be able to say it in an artist's way to stand out. You should also say Arrivederci to adding lots of funny little texts or symbols. Less is more should always be your motto. My Iceland book, for example, completely puts the focus on the photos, not showing any text messages or information at all. I printed my photo book at DM in Germany. They offer great service and fair prices, but for all my American friends out there, I can, after some research, without personal experience though, recommend Photobook America. Check out the link in the description below. Photo books are always awesome. Just keep in mind that you need quite a few photos to fill one of these books. So if you just have a handful of photos, that might not be enough. But if you have enough photos, then go ahead and print a photo book. Let's now get really creative. Wood prints rock. What sounds rather complicated and pricey can be done within just a few minutes. It's really simple and you can print your photos to pretty much any wooden surface. Let me show you how it works. First, we have to mirror our photo. Pretty much any software can do it. Afterward, we have to print the photo, not using standard ink, but a laser printer. Next to the photo, we will need a scissor, then a piece of wood, a bit of so-named photo potch, followed by a brush, an old credit card that you don't need anymore, a bowl with water, some clear coat, and finally, a hair dryer. Product links to all these fancy things you can of course find in the description below the video. Now let's get this going. First, cut the laser print. Don't worry, it doesn't have to be too precise. Next off are the photo potch and the piece of wood. Take the brush and apply some photo potch to it. Make sure to cover all spots equally. Next, apply photo potch to the print side of the photo as well. Now the photo has to be placed on the wood with the print side facing down. Take the credit or whatever card you got and flatten the photo. Make sure to remove all bubbles. And now comes the fun part? No, actually not. Just take the hair dryer and dry the photo potch. It takes approximately 10 minutes. Once you're done, give it some time to cool down. Now add some water and remove the paper. But be careful, if you are not taking care, like I did here, then you can cause ugly scratches to appear. Doesn't matter too much, this is not an arts or DIY channel, this is actually a tech channel, so let's just continue. Now we apply the clear coat, again making sure that we cover every inch of the print. And after half an hour of drying, voila, the wood print is ready. Now it's your turn. Go ahead and create some awesome looking wood prints. And don't forget to, of course, share them with me on www.facebook.com slash Tom's Tech Time. 
My computer totally blocks everything. Can you see that? We're recording. Of course. Hello. Hello. <laughs> so we're actually having a little break and maybe you want to have a little break from all this DIY creative stuff because we're tech people. You know, it's hard for us. And meanwhile, I can introduce some drone shirts that we're designing right here, right now, that's not made up. We're designing those shirts. There is even a Christmas edition and there are so many more on tomstechtime.com slash shirts. It's always worth to check those out. It is so worth it. You have no idea. That's what I always say. And now I'm going to pretend to be busy because it always looks good on camera. Very authentic. A photo calendar is another very classical gift and a useful one. It's not gonna catch dust in some corner, instead it can brighten up every single breakfast of yours, provided of course that you hang it in the kitchen. Again, I recommend you to keep it simple to make it stand out. If you have enough photos, then maybe try to match them. Show snowy photos in the early and very late months of the year and beach water and desert photos in the middle in the hot months like July and August. There are almost no limitations here. For my German audience, I can again recommend the DM photo service. They offer great quality for a fair price. And for my American audience, I would <laughs> again recommend Photobook America. It functions very nicely. I tried it out. It's super simple to use. The prices seem pretty fair. And the reviews I found were also showing that the quality of the final product was good. But again, I did not order from them myself. Okay, at the moment, I'm looking for some photo frames. Because, of course, the best thing you can do with your aerials is to print them out on a poster and uh, then have them hang to the wall and it looks just gorgeous. And uh, I can highly recommend to get the IKEA frames because they're just cheaper. <laughs> they look as good as all the others and the quality is just, I don't know, good. Never had to complain about anything there. And uh, one of the best ways to showcase your aerial photographs, of course. <laughs> Gesundheit. Maybe, though, you should pick something a bit bigger than that. Unfortunately, I cannot show you a frame on one of my walls because my living situation at the moment is a bit strange, so to say. Therefore, I hope that you'll excuse that I show you examples that were put together on the computer only. I guess that you can still see how great it looks to print an aerial photograph and then put it into a frame. Thank you guys for watching this video. Now, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and of course, don't forget to subscribe because otherwise you might miss out on some super cool upcoming episodes. Now, this is typical Northern German weather. It's gray and it's raining and there's a fresh breeze. I actually enjoy it even though I would prefer snow, of course. I'm a Christmas person. So Merry Christmas to all of you out there. Have a great Advent time and uh, we meet again very soon. Au revoir. Don't forget to check out Tom's Tech Time for free downloads for drone shirts and so much more. Tom'sTechTime.com I think my girlfriend, <laughs> she's taking the car, she's driving away. Now I gotta hurry.